Hello everyone, welcome to another beer tasting. This time we're taking a look at this bad boy. This is the Thunderhead Brewing Company Total Solar Eclipse Dunkel. Um, and that's basically all the information I can give to you. Um, I can give you the alcohol content, 13%. And um, the reason that is, is because it's actually only available in the tap room. Um, until they run out. They brewed it for the solar eclipse that's going to be happening in Nebraska here in the next week. Um, and I'm fortunate enough to have a friend that is a bartender at Thunderhead, and he brought me a growler of it. Um, you get a stout, a stouty uh, smell. And that's really all I'm going to be able to tell you. Um, I don't have the... I'm still waiting for my contacts and my, uh, what the recipe for it is, so I can tell you exactly, but I think it's a really good idea for the beer, but let's take a sip. Yeah. Definitely a stouty, um, taste. But what else do you get out of it? I think this one's actually tamed a little bit. Um, this is the third glass I've had of it. Um, I've had one each night. And this is the third night. This is the bottom of the growler. So the first couple nights I had it... Um, very strong at the back end um, in terms of heat from the alcohol. But this this one, I don't necessarily get that. Um, to me, it just kind of tastes very stoutish. And he did use another term. It was a dunkel something. And maybe he did say dunkel stout. But now 13% alcohol, I could definitely see that. I do really like it. Um, I've liked it all three times I've had it. This one obviously isn't as carbonated. I've had it, so I've opened it three days ago now. I opened it Sunday, and today's Wednesday. So, or sorry, Monday? Yeah, I opened it Monday, and today's Wednesday. So the carbonation is a little bit less now than it was before but that's just because it was in a growler. Um, would I recommend this to someone? I think if someone likes stoutish beers, um, I'm sure if you got it straight off the tap at the tap house, um, whether that's in Omaha or in Kearney, um, they're probably going to limit you on the amount that they give you, kind of like they do with Tiny Tim during the holidays and that sort of stuff. But... I I mean I really like it. I would recommend it to someone um, if they're if they like stouts, like a real smoky sort of flavor is what I get out of it. Um, if they can handle a back end alcohol kick, I would I would um, I would definitely recommend this to someone. Um, so if you're lucky enough to be in the tap room when this is still available on tap, whether um, I don't know if they have it in Omaha, but they for sure have it in Kearney because that's where my friend bartends. Um, if you're lucky enough to try it out on tap, make sure to let me know down in the comments what you think. Um, I think it's a very good beer. Um, and whether they do this as a, a seasonal thing or if it's just a one-off brew, um, I think it's quite good. I would definitely recommend it. So that's what I think, guys. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below to see more different craft beer tastings as well as homebrew uh, videos that will be coming out shortly. As soon as I get my camera stand, we will be doing homebrew videos of my homebrew stuff, um, which you can see going behind me there. Just um, this last Sunday, I had a brew weekend, which was actually really freaking awesome. A bunch of friends came over on Sunday and we brewed a zombie dust clone. So that is the third day of fermentation. Third day? Yeah, we would have pitched Sunday evening afternoon ish so third day of fermentation um and she's she's doing pretty good 
we're going to dry hop into the three ounces of citra on Sunday and uh, she'll be kicking and rearing to go. So we'll probably do a video for that. Um, but yeah, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to hit that like button as well. I'll talk to you guys next time.